It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. I'd like to think that I intended it as a reverse jinx, but when I posted a tweet Sunday saying, once again, a day comes along that reminds me that I would probably enjoy a greater quality of life if I didn't care about sports at all, I really meant it. At the time, the Philadelphia Eagles were getting battered by Washington, a generally bad football team, while the Phillies, desperately needing to win to stay in baseball's wildcard race, were trailing the Mets 3 to nothing after one inning. It was miserable. And it once again had me wondering, oh, why do I care? What does it matter? What return am I getting on my emotional investment in a bunch of teams that, let's be honest, don't either know or care that I'm a fan other than happily taking my money if I decide to go to a game, and since it's a 2,747.7 mile drive to the ballparks, eh, that doesn't often occur. I envied the people who, as they'll be happy to tell you, weren't born with the sports gene. Their Sundays aren't filled with agony when the Eagles' defense puts no pressure on the quarterback. They don't care about bad bullpens or long championship droughts, but they also didn't care when the Eagles broke their drought at Super Bowl 52, yet still they're free not to care. And then, later Sunday, things changed. The Eagles came out on fire in the second half and won the game. The Phillies came back too and won. And it made me happy, not for any reason I can explain, but it did. And that pleasure is why I'm still a fan. I know they don't care about me, and I know it doesn't matter, but when my teams win, it's, you know, fun. And really, when things go bad, I can let it go after a pretty short time. So, in the end, it's worth the occasional pain, because the ups blow away the downs. Unless you're a Miami Dolphins fan right now. That's gotta be rough. So, it's fly, Eagles, fly, and ring the bell, and trust the process after all, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. For now, that's enough.